Okay, guys, now as game development has went up, we all know that it costs more to make games. And if you've kept up with it like I have, uh, it's cost more to make games and the profit margin is less. You've got exclusive games, like for example, you have Spider-Man 2, cost over $300 million to make that game. So, got this article here from IGN. I'll leave the full description below for you to look at but it says right here it says ex playstation boss sean laden says exclusive exclusivity is your achilles heel if a game costs more than 200 million dollars it redu it reduces your market is what they're trying to say you're spending all that money to make a game and if your install base is not big enough to recoup it plus it's costing more to make games and he has the perfect example of this right here. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to read this. It says, Spider-Man 2 development costs ran over $30 million over the budget of the original $270 million and ultimately needed the game needed to sell 7.2 million copies to break even. And the latest sales figure suggests Spider-Man 2 has just now sold enough copies to make money. So there you have the problem. And uh, this may be why we see... I, I still don't believe we're ever going to see... I'm sorry, but I just don't believe Sony... If Sony and Microsoft put their games out on each other's system, what would be the point? You know what I'm saying? If they... Like, like say God of War comes out on the Xbox and it comes out on the PlayStation 5 at the same time. And it's to say the Switch. It comes out on the Switch, too, which it ain't going to happen. Let's just pretend it does. Why would you buy, you know, without exclusive games, you have no reason to buy a console. So, now, Helldivers 2 showed, showed me the perfect example of what Sony's strategy will be. I think Sony realizes they're going to have to shrink budgets of games. They have to be a way you can shrink the budget of a game. It costs more to make games now than it costs to make movies. So, if we do see more multi-plat games, it's going to be like this. It's going to be PlayStation 5 games will be coming out on the PC. Like Helldivers 2. That's the way it's going to be. Because, again, if you don't have exclusive games, what's the point of having your own system? That's one thing the article doesn't bring up they they're like everybody should just share everything that's not how it works what's the point it's different now now sony's strategy i think is going to be to stagger releases uh you're not going to see if you do see like you're not going to see this is put it this way you're not going to see god of war on xbox okay let's just put it that way uh, the only way this is ever going to happen is if Sony decides to drop the hardware business. But who's going to put out the piece of hardware to play the games? Is it just going to be a PC market? No more consoles? Is that really the future you want? I don't want that. Uh, Microsoft, they're in third place. Nobody's buying their system. It's a totally different way of looking at it than Sony or Nintendo. Nothing against Microsoft, but... They can't sell no games. They can't make enough games to make people want to buy their games. If that makes six plus, you know, it's on Game Pass is on PC. So they've kind of done this to themselves because, you know, Game Pass is on PC. So if you want to play Xbox games, you can just play it on PC. Sony and Nintendo, they're totally different in the way they think. It's totally different. Microsoft, of course, they're going to put out a few games, Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, Pentiment, and the rumors are saying they're going to be adding more. Sony's not going to do this. If Sony comes out with Spider-Man or the next uh, next God of War, if it does come out on a system, it's going to be out on PC. It's not going to come out on Xbox. And that's the way it's going to be. You're not going to have Nintendo do it either. Nintendo, you can just forget. You're never going to see uh, Mario on Xbox. You might see it on PC. I mean, you might see that on PC, but it's not going to be on a competing system. Because consoles is different. There's people that buy consoles like me because of the ease of use. I don't have to worry about my requirements on my computer. I don't have to worry about updating that. 
And people are like, well, it looks better on PC. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I have played PC games in the past, like I said. And I get the appeal. I just like consoles. That's just the way I've always that's the way I was raised on consoles. I was raised on the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, stuff like that. But this is a problem that Sony will address and they'll do stagger releases. And what I mean by a stagger release is like overseeing with uh, the God of War games come out on PC. That's kind of like you're going to see that. And of course, you know, the Grand Theft Auto game coming out, it's going to be a console exclusive. It's not going to be on PC right away. That's the way Grand Theft Auto's always been. You're going to see Sony push that big on their system. So this is just uh, the way of looking at it. Uh, the Sony... And I see where they're coming from in the article. They are right, though. They are. You know, they game budgets are too much. They have to somehow drop that. I mean, $300 million to make a game. That is ridiculous. And when you, it's always surprising me when I look at a game, you watch the credits, and I'm like, look, there's thousands of people making this game. It's unreal. Just the number of people making a game. I don't think Nintendo does that. Nintendo again is just a different beast. I mean, they're just, it's a whole different world there. But it's just something I thought I would uh, bring up. This is a problem, though. The article is right about that. It's a problem. Spending a lot of money on games and, you know, and then you have to start all over again with the next PlayStation or Xbox. You have to start all the way over at zero and you're. You're going to launch a two, $300 million game with the next Xbox. That's why you saw so many cross-gen games. Because God of War as it was God of War was the perfect example. If you had a PlayStation 4, you could still play that game on the PlayStation 4. And it still looked pretty doggone good. I had the uh, PS4 version on my, X, on my PlayStation 5. And I played it for a little bit. And, of course, I upgraded it. With the you can upgrade it. I, I couldn't buy. I couldn't find the uh, PS5 version. I actually bought that physical. I bought that game physical. I couldn't find the PS5 version, so I, sp I spent like ten dollars extra to upgrade it to that on the uh, PS5. But that was a perfect example. That's why you saw a lot of cross-gen games. I think we're going to see that again when the PlayStation 6 comes out. You're going to see a lot of cross-gen games uh, until the install base picks up. That's just the way it way it's going to be especially now with budgets being like they are and this is what helps call of duty so much uh call of duty just comes out for every system you know because it's not a first party publisher i guess it is now with microsoft but let's be honest is microsoft really going to just put out call of duty on the xbox and the pc and leave what leave out you know 100 million playstation users that's not going to happen so uh, PlayStation and Nintendo, they just, they're different animals. You have to accept that. That's just the way it is. I don't see them, I don't see them uh, giving up. They're, they'll find ways to cut costs or something, but they have to be a way to shrink the budgets. And, and I don't think raising game prices is the right, is the answer to that already. I think games are too expensive as it is, but... 70 about 70 dollars now so hope they don't get into raising prices yet again but there you have it people that's my thoughts on this game uh, prices are out of control there's no doubt about that the cost to make make them and turn a profit it's really hurting sony we're seeing it right now and uh, that's pretty much it we'll see how it goes from here but don't expect you know, Spider-Man on your Xbox, Spider-Man 2 or God of War or Ratchet and Clank. Don't don't expect to be able to play that on your Xbox. Maybe PC, but not Xbox. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Toodles!